Okay, now we know the most important science to pay attention to is knowledge of self, our own set of patterns and what they tell us about ourselves. And we're up on logical fallacies. If you're not, click on the link to the series below and then come on back here. Now that we understand reason and patterns and the great purpose of knowledge, what about that larger universe around us? The one we're a part of? What are its patterns and what can it tell me about myself? Mm. What a beautiful question. Have you ever taken a moment to just observe nature? You might start to pick up on something. Let's look. From succulents and vegetables to trees and forests to lightning and waves of all kinds to canyons and that curious spiral that keeps showing up in so many places nature is filled with repeating patterns inside of patterns we call them fractals can you say fractals like look at this snake over here wrapped up along this branch and that to the right that's a snake skeleton right nope it's a human spine. Mm -hmm. Look at these human eyes and look at these stellar nebulae. Look at this crab nebulae in space. Now look at the DNA in our cells. See a similarity? What about this leaf and a human hand? Even our brain cells look like galaxies from far, far away. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if, if the creative force of the universe was an artist, Fractals would be its signature style. Just like Picasso has a recognizable style and Kehinde Wiley has a recognizable style, so does the universe. But fractals or patterns aren't just in what we see. They're also in our behaviors, our growth. Like look at Kwame. Every year he keeps growing about the same amount. Do you see how much he's growing every year? Did you say two inches? Very good. Can you tell how much he might grow to by the time he's 13? Did you say four foot six? You are correct. Patterns help us predict. By noticing a growth pattern, we can predict where someone or something might be going or even where they were. Looking back, we can see that if Kwame was growing like this every year, then he must have been very small at some point too, like a baby. And before that, he was a teeny little fetus in his mother's womb. Believe it or not, this is actually how we found out how small the universe once may have been and when it could have been that small. You see, every time we look at the different galaxies through a telescope, we started to notice that, that the distance between them was getting bigger. That's right. When we followed this pattern backwards in time, scientists have figured out that it may have all exploded from a singularity, perhaps a teeny universe of its own proportion, about 13.7 billion years ago. This is called the Big Bang Theory. A theory is when you use the information you have, based on all of the patterns you've pieced together, to try to uncover its possible story. See how much we can learn just by paying attention to the patterns? 